My name is Professor Keith Matthews. I'm based here at the University of Edinburgh in the Centre for Immunity, Infection and Evolution. So the work we do in my lab is focused on a parasite called uh, the African trypanosome, which causes sleeping sickness in Africa for people, but also causes a lot of infection in animals, which then has a consequence for the economic prosperity of people in Africa. What we're interested in my lab is in understanding how the parasite controls how it goes through its life cycle. So how it's transmitted between mammalian hosts by tsetse flies, which are the vector for the parasite. And what we really try to understand is how the parasite prepares for transmission by tsetse flies, and then once it gets into the tsetse fly, how it adapts for life in that vector. Well, the application for the research could be two things. Firstly, we can identify molecules which could be targets for drugs uh, which could accelerate the life cycle of the parasite, causing it to transform into its next life cycle stage at the wrong time, which would be lethal for the parasite. Also, we could interrupt the conversations they have with each other in the bloodstream of mammalian hosts, and in that way, disrupt how they prepare for transmission by tsetse flies. The prize is, of course, very important for me. I think it reflects a acknowledgement of some progress we have made, but more importantly, for me, it's a very nice reward, of course, for something which is really my passion, my hobby, so that effectively I'm paid to do something which I would love to do anyway, and uh, it's a nice reward for uh, that ambition. There is something pure, I think, in actually discovering and understanding how something works and seeing the beauty in how it works, and potentially also the added reward is that it can help other people, so that if it develops new drugs or new therapies that can assist people around the world in any sphere of science, of course, that's a tremendous thing and, and really quite unique employment.